Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time I'm going to be reviewing a new Transformers Studio Series figure and it is Constructicon Lawn Hall. Um, so this is one of my most anticipated Studio Series figures for a long time now. Uh, I've been really looking forward to this one and it's been a bit of a weird one because although it's Wavemate uh, being the Voyager um, uh, KIS uh, what is it? KS Leader? I, I can't remember. Um, but although he is his other person in the wave, he's been on pre-order forever. This one really didn't go on pre-order. It just, it seemed like it was just a little harder to get, which was very annoying. Um, I've been really anxious to get it though, and uh, I've been disappointed that I wasn't able just to order it uh, from like Hasbro's website. Uh, but luckily, I found it on my birthday, actually. I found it in Target. It was a great little birthday find. And then the day after, I found myself a second one. And for the, um, uh, Constructicons, I'm actually buying two of, of all of them uh, for, you guessed it, so I could have a set of Constructicons themselves and then a set as Devastator because I want both, I really do. Like, I don't know, if I only had one set, I'm not quite sure how I would display them because I want them both just about the same amount. So yeah, so before I get into the actual uh, robot himself, here's the packaging. Love this artwork for Long Haul. Um, one thing I'm really disappointed about is that all the Constructicons had the Devastator artwork on the side, but I would have really liked to see this artwork work in a larger format on the side here because I think it looks awesome. But as you can see here is how he looks in the package. He looks really nice in package except for one critical detail. His foot just looks super weird because they have it folded up and therefore like he just looks really weird in this section. But up here in the picture it looks so good that it kind of compensates for it. As you can see, long haul on the side looking awesome. And on the back, you get a picture of him, the robot mode, the backdrop, which is the same backdrop that's coming with all the Constructicon figures, which is the kind of a desert, or not desert, well, kind of desert, um, Egyptian background. And then K KSI Boss, that's it. That's his wave mate. Uh, I've seen this in person. I, I went to several targets looking for lawn haul, um, and I found lawn. I found these two lawn hauls at two of them. Two of them did not have them, but they all had at least one KSI boss. I just I don't think that's going to sell very well since it's mainly just a repaint. Um, and I did want it though. Like when I first saw the production images of it, I didn't think it looked good at all. Uh, but actually seeing it in person, the paint on that thing is really good. So I decided I knew I could get it cheaper because nobody's going to want that one. So I was able to get it for. $26 on eBay, brand new, um, and it'll be, it should be arriving today actually, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, let's go over Lawn Hall himself. Here he is in his dump truck uh, construction vehicle mode. Um, I will say, comparing this one to the last version, the one that came out in 2009, uh, this is far uh, unsuperior, I would say. Um, the previous one is much better. It's just, it's bigger, it has a top for the actual dump truck section, and it had a whole mechanism where you could actually dump it, which was really cool. Like it was unnecessary, but it was cool. I, I like the I like the idea behind it, and I like the effort. Um, this one is this one certainly passes as what it should be. Uh, the front section here I think looks pretty nice, but overall I think that it's definitely not uh, as good in the slightest. Um, but that's a little bit more understandable since they're uh, they're kind of compromising this state so that you can have him be a triple changer because obviously the last one was not a triple changer so you get you, you get have a little give and take and let me tell you I will certainly uh, give um, the uh, vehicle mode because I really don't care too much about it but I definitely care about the limb and the robot mode um, which this one uh, I I would say almost nails, uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, uh, so yeah, overall, dump truck, not too impressive, but the other two modes are quite impressive, and let me show you the robot mode. So to start transformation, I'm going to start with the arms. These are the hardest things to actually attach because there's just, it has to peg in at so many different places and you have to do it kind of all at the same time so it can be a little difficult. Uh, but you just want to kind of unpeg it from the back here. And then the hands are holding on to pegs so they're kind of pegged in themselves and then the top uh, sections right here are pegged in up here so you kind of need to take those all off together. So you kind of want to raise up and out. And it is stiff, there you go. But yeah, so you want to raise up to release the hands and out to release the, uh, the little pegs on the side here. What's interesting is that the, goodness, the pegs on the side, they almost have like a missile type of look, which I think is kind of neat and uh, helps in robot mode a bit too, which is cool. So what you can do is you can also extend these pieces away from the arm and swivel them up just to get them out of the way for right now. If they haven't already un peg themselves, you want to unpeg the tires, and you can just rotate those right up. And then the head, uh, you can have it rotated um, around so that you really can't see the face in uh, vehicle mode, or out, whichever one. So if you have it rotated, rotate it back. 
And then with the hands, you want to just slide them out. So just like this, and they will just kind of lock in place there. Or, excuse me, let me see here. Sorry, the wheels actually need to be rotated up. There you go, and then you can slide out the, uh, the arms themselves. Rotate the wheels just like that. This piece can flip up. And there you have that. You want to get it so that the screw obviously isn't the front section of your arm though. Right there. And then you want to do the same on this side. So this rotate the tire to the back and then just flip up the whole assembly. And then you can move forward the arm and you want to rotate it so that the screw is going to be facing the back uh, when it comes to the shoulder. There we go. Just like that. And you want to get the, uh, the little tires to click into place up top. Perfect. And then with these, what you want to do is just rotate these in. They're on like a little bit of a sliding joint, so you want to slide. It's, it's kind of interesting. They're on this like pin joint that can slide up and down. So when you unattach it, you want to slide it down, and then that'll give you the clearance to flip it. And then you can just rotate this entire piece and then uh, collapse it in on itself just like that. And then again, those pegs that actually work as pegs on the robot mode kind of become these like little rocket launcher pieces. So I like that. I think that's a, a really smart idea to do. So same with this. You want to just unattach this and rotate it down and then flip it up. There you go. And then rotate the whole assembly and collapse it again, pegging it in. All right. And then this section if you have the uh, green part up like this, you want to just attach this section. So basically this will tab into here. And then, it, although it doesn't really help at all, this little slot will, or this little, um, this little uh, uh, panel will slot right into that uh, little hole there. So it doesn't help much, but hey, it, it still goes somewhere at least. And then the legs, you want to unpeg. You want to rotate it. You're going to rotate the tire front, and then you're going to rotate down the feet. And when you get this guy out of the package, you'll have to rota rotate down the feet as well, because they're up in package. Rotate it down, swivel the wheel forward, and there you have Lawn Hall, basically all transformed in his robot mode. Let's get him standing here. So here he is fully transformed, and I will say that this is an improvement over the original Lawn Hall. The original Lawn Hall from 2009 I thought was a great figure, and uh, you know, I thought it was perfect at, back at the time. Um, however, getting this one, you can really see what needed to be updated on it. Uh, now, that doesn't mean that the 2009 one isn't good anymore. It's still very good, I would say, um, but this is definitely an improvement uh, for a lot of pieces as, as far as paint, and then the, uh, the proportions, I think, are well improved. I will be doing a lot of comparisons between him and the other constructor cons from this video series so far, as well as uh, with the long haul in a second here. Let me just talk about the figure on his own though. Overall, he's quite nice. He is He's definitely bulky, which is great. Um, he has a really nice uh, proportion of bulk to him. Uh, however, he's a little smaller than you would have expected. Uh, when you think of long haul, you think of a really big figure, or a really big character. He's, he's not only chunky, but he's pretty tall. He's not like super tall, but he's tall. Um, so I do think that he's a little shorter than he should be here. Uh, he's like rampage is practically taller than him. Now, obviously, you know, there's just more bulk on Lone Hall, so it makes him a little bit bigger, but he just doesn't have the height that I think most people were expecting. Um, I was certainly surprised when I saw the pictures of him, like, compared to some of the other figures, and he was you know, not much taller than some of the, like, the deluxe figures and things like that. I, I was kind of bummed out about that. Um... I think that he could absolutely be a little bit chunkier uh, or a little bit taller and just kind of bigger overall because I, I like the proportions, but just having him upscaled a little bit would have been really nice. It's very similar to Blackout, uh, the figure that came out from the Studio Series. Another great figure by the Studio Series. However, it's just a little too small, you know? Um, just everything's great with it, just needed to be upscaled a little bit. And I, I'd say the same about this guy. Um, obviously, they've got a bit of an issue uh, with the fact that they need these to be triple changers, that he needs to be the same size as Rampage in order to have the legs on Devastator be proportionate with each other. Um, so I understand that there are some logistics issues with that. However, I think that you could definitely um, compact some of the pieces in the in the leg and uh, and even if it's a little bit bulkier, as long as it's not longer, it would have still been fine. So I would have liked to see this guy be upscale a little bit, um, but overall I think that he's really nicely done. Love the face sculpt. I think that the one thing that the Studio Series nails every single time is the head sculpt. Um, the KSI boss is the only one that they didn't nail because it's completely disaccurate. Um, but 
All the ones that they re-sculpt are really nicely done. Love the face sculpt, I think it has a lot of detail, and I like the original one, however, it's very clear to see that this is a harsh improvement on the original 2009 one as far as the face sculpt, which is great. Um, Let's get to some of those comparisons now. It's hard to talk about this figure without just immediately comparing him to the previous version. Because that's what we've had for 10 years now, and uh, and I think most of us were pretty happy with it. But it, this is kind of the update that we all didn't know that we needed and wanted. Because um, I think that this is a solid update, absolutely. So as you can see, he is definitely smaller than the uh, than the previous one. Um, he's got more bulk to him in some purport in some areas, like the legs and the ch uh, the chest. Those are bulkier pieces. The arms are about the same bulk, and then the uh, the backpack sections uh, are about the same. The only thing that uh, the 2009 one has like on top of him is kind of that cage area that holds the wheels which is very inaccurate um, so luckily uh, that is not the issue uh, with this new one so I think that's quite nice um, but as you can see there's the, uh, the the other one is bulky for the fact that it has a lot of uh, pieces on his back which kind of give him the illusion of being bulkier in the chest as well as he has those massive pieces that are on his arms which give his arms the illusion of being bulkier um, but as you can see with this new long haul it's more accurate the arms are shorter and um, they do still have those like pieces on the arms to make them bulkier but they're not so obtrusive and uh, and kind of uh, annoying uh, as well as just the legs are a lot more well proportioned they're just they're bulkier but uh, but again shorter um, which you know long haul has a bit of a stubby look to him. He's not very short in the movie, but he's got that stubby proportionate uh, set to him. Um, so I think that there's just a lot of improvements in the sculpting in this new one. And then the paint is a lot better too. I think that the dark olive green is a lot better than this almost neon green that they went with on the last one. And then uh, I like the kind of the, the darker silverish gray that they went with instead of black. I think that that just looks a little bit better and it allows the tires to pop themselves because they're a bit more of a true black. Um, so it'll, it gives some different differentiation between the uh, rubber and the metal, um, so I do like that too. Overall, I think that this is definitely an improvement for sure. Um, comparing them here with the other Constructicons released so far, here he is with Rampage, and as you can see, uh, you know, they're very similar uh, to being the same um, uh, height. I mean, if anything, they're the exact same height. You get a bit more bulk with uh, uh, Long Haul, though, just because he's bulkier in general. But as you can see, the two of them look really nice together, but when I think of Rampage and Long Haul together, I definitely immediately think the Long Haul should be bigger. Um, so in, in that respect, they look a little odd together just because they're like the same height, and I don't personally think that they should be. And then just to round out the set so far here he is with a uh, scrap metal now obviously we never see scrap metal in the movie so it's 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 hard to compare how he looks with him but nonetheless the three of them look really cool together the only other constructicon figure that has been uh that is been shown and is coming out is hightower i do have it on pre-order and my pre-order date for it is august 12th which is the day that i'm filming this so hopefully it is being charged and shipped today and i i did order two of him as well so i'm excited for that one uh and then i just i can't wait to see the rest of these constructicons i think it's taken way too long to actually see them. But as far as his articulation, he has a ball jointed head, which is very stiff, which is, you know, nice. Obviously, it's much better than being loose, but uh, but it is a little interesting how stiff it is. You have to, like, work with it a bit to get it to move uh, smoothly. Uh, he has, you know, uh, swivel hinge shoulders. Um, now, he, he has very limited arm articulation because of the panels on his arms. They're so big and chunky and bulky that they stretch out past his elbow quite a bit, and then with his big shoulder pad um, wheels, he just kind of has a lot of contact with them so it's it's hard to get much range uh, in a natural sense with those um, with the arm uh, pieces that, uh, combined with the uh, the back piece it just it, it kind of hinders your articulation his thighs pretty well articulated but because of his bulk are a little bit uh, finicky too because although you can get them out quite far it does come at the expense of the angle of the leg it does make make his leg point inward there's no way to fix that because it's it's the thigh that's on the uh, the swivel um, so therefore he needs to be down to about this click to, to get it to kind of straighten out and then obviously anything below that it's fine then he has a hinge at the um, knee and then his ankles uh, I mean you can kind of pivot it up just because of how it transforms you can't pivot it any more down though but it does pivot to the side in a very odd way so he does have an ankle pivot but it doesn't look super flattering but nonetheless he has it so uh, that you know that's always very important I think so overall his articulation is quite nice you don't need to put long haul in dynamic poses just because he doesn't like you know He's not an acrobatic fighter. He's more of just the, the bulky 
fire from afar type of character. So uh, I think that he looks good in the, um, uh, or he can he can achieve any poses that Lon Hall should be in. And then he does have a swivel at the uh, at the waist. It's it's at a it's on a really weird ratchet. So it ratchets to one side, but it has a lot of give to it in between the ratchets, which is strange. Um, but nonetheless, it still is good. So yeah. Overall, I have to say that I really like this figure. I think that it's really nicely done. Um, it's in, it's a solid improvement that I didn't quite know I needed. And I'm pretty impressed that it, they can get it so much more accurate while adding an extra transformation mode to him with the, the, the leg transformation. So I'm quite impressed with how they've designed this figure and how they've designed the Constructicons so far. I can't wait to see the last four, uh, being the two Voyagers, Scrapper and Mixmaster, and the two leaders being over, uh, yeah, Overload and... Um, uh, uh, demolisher very excited for all four of those to come out and uh, I I'm really excited just to see them It's it's a little disappointing that we're gonna get all of the Constructicons shown so far before we even see the next one I would have really hoped that they would have been working on these a little bit more fluidly so that just so that like every couple months we get one or two um, so that we don't have to wait years before we finally build Devastator. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll see the new ones coming up soon. Um, Long Haul is my second favorite Constructicon. My first favorite is Mixmaster, so I'm very intrigued to see how they'll do Mixmaster, especially since they'll need to add Devastator's face to Mixmaster in some way. So I think that's going to be the most complex one for them to design themselves. Uh, but nonetheless, I think this is an excellent figure, a fantastic update, and one that's definitely worth picking up. And it's also one of the most popular ones of the Studio Series, I'd say thus far from uh, the beginning of the Studio Series to now, I think this might be the most popular um, uh, figure that they've done because it just seems to be a little bit harder to get than all the others. So I definitely recommend uh, hunting down your targets because it has started to release there, at least in my area. So let me know what you guys think of this figure, and thanks so much for watching.